just the other day, José Manuel Barroso was asked about the UK and the apparent rise in Euroscepticism and the polls suggesting that more and more people are considering the option of pulling out of the European Union. And he said this, he said, it doesn't make any sense to me. He said, when the Prime Minister of Britain meets the US or Chinese president, he has much stronger status and leverage because those leaders in Beijing or Washington know that Britain is a country that is influential inside in shaping European wow, policy. Wow, how exciting. Isn't it marvellous? You know, we've got an 8% say in what Mr Brosso and Mr Van Rompuy Oh, come on, it's Go more and than, say it, the G8. You, you, you I think mean, we frankly, are simply eight percent in terms of our leverage inside well, the European well, Union? Now, would than we that. not acknowledge less that, than that? We that, have that no influence Britain, there at all. Britain, Germany, and France—they are regarded as the leading nations in the European Union, and of course they have. Influence. We are disliked. We are frankly openly despised by Barroso and almost everybody well, you else. You may be. No, no, no. Britain is. The UK is. Well, we I, have I no... suspect you're more despised than Britain as a whole because you are so loud, so vociferous. Well, I've pointed out the fact that Europe's been hijacked by a gang of unelected bureaucrats, of whom Mr Barroso is at the very top. I've also pointed out that every single prediction that Barroso has made about the Eurozone has been wrong over the course of the last five or six years. So why should we listen to him? Yes, but his point, I suppose, of putting it at its bluntest, was that why do Britons think that pulling out of the European Union would leave them with, frankly, much more significance in the world well, than a Norway well, or, a, or, a, or, a, or a, an Iceland? Well, let's I mean, think about trade, shall we, for argument's sake. When the World Trade Organization meets to discuss global trade, Britain has to leave the room. Not allowed to be in there. The fact we're the fifth largest trading nation in the world, we have to leave the room to have an unelected bureaucrat from Brussels represent us and make our trade policy. We would have much more say on the world stage as an independent nation.